CDs and DVDs are not very safe in the long run for protecting your data. Minor scratches can completely corrupt or make a disc completely unusable in a matter of seconds. I've been going through the process of backing up a lot of my older game discs, especially demo discs from like Pizza Hut, PlayStation 1 demos, things like that, that are relics of a time that are gone that we can't just like go to the internet and re-download, but yet there are no existing backups of. And to do this, I've been creating ISO or .iso copies of these discs in order to preserve them in a digital format that could be instantly reburnt to another disc or mounted virtually on my computer without taking up physical space. In this video, I'll show you how to do this on Windows with an alternative video coming soon on how to do it on Linux. Let's flip over to the desktop and see how to set this up. Jumping on over here to the desktop side of things, I went ahead and put in a DVD in my Blu-ray drive on my desktop computer. It is a demo disc from PC Gamer. I'm doing a backup of some stuff for a Game Vault series. I'm doing over on my gaming channel and I wanted to create just a raw ISO file of the Blu-ray drive. And if you don't know what an ISO file is, it is just a virtual copy of the CD, like file for file, just a, a virtual, it's a virtual CD basically, or, you know, DVD or what have you, exactly as it would be on the physical version. So for this, we will need a program. The program for Windows here that I recommend is Infra Recorder. So you can download the installer if you wish to install it, but I'm actually going to go with here where it says the zip archive for portable version or just installer version. We've got a couple different ones. I'm going to download the 64-bit and the 32-bit just so I have a copy. Most computers nowadays should be a 64-bit, but if you don't, if you're not, you know, if you're not certain what version you have, you can download the 32-bit and be fine. And then go ahead and open the zip file with your favorite zip archive program which I've made a tutorial on before. I'll post a link in the card icon above if you don't know how to use 7-Zip, which is the one I recommend, and then just drag the folder out to somewhere like your desktop. We're going to open up that folder and go ahead and choose inforrecorder.exe and double-click it. Now in here, we're going to tell it to read disk, and that's going to read it to a disk image file, which is what we want. That'll be an ISO. So I'm going to click read disk. It automatically detects my DVD drive. Otherwise, Go back to your this PC or my computer window. See the drive letter there. Mine is D. Make sure it's selected. And then tell it where you want the image file. And I'm just going to go to my desktop real quick here. And I'm going to call it PCG for PC Gamer underscore June 09 underscore demo disk. And you can, of course, name it whatever you like. Tell it wherever you want it to go. And it will, of course, be a .iso file. And click Save. And then click OK. And it's going to take a little time depending on what kind of disc you're backing up, be it a full DVD, only a CD, a Blu-ray disc, etc. And it will create a image file the size of that disc, which could be anywhere from a couple hundred megs to a few gigabytes, again, depending on what you're backing up. And the speed of your Blu-ray or DVD drive or whatever CD drive that you have will actually affect that as well, as well as the speed of your hard drive. But so on laptops, it may go a little bit slower, but on the whole, it won't take an incredibly long time. We're already at 5% here, and, it, and this has slowed down since I am recording. All right, and that's all it took. It took a good couple of minutes, but not like an incredibly long time. I remember ripping. Well, if you do rip a DVD, it will take a very long time. This is just making a raw copy of it, a, a digital copy of it, if you will. Um, but I remember doing it on older computers and it taking anywhere near as much as an hour. So I'm going to close in for a recorder for now. And then we're going to go ahead and open up my computer or this PC. And we're going to go ahead and open up the DVD. I'm going to right click it until it opens so it doesn't try to run any programs. So this is what's on the DVD itself. I'm going to mount this ISO by double clicking in Windows 10 and I believe 8.1 and later. If you double click an ISO file, it should automatically mount it as a virtual CD. And you see here, we have the same files on both disks. We go to disk contents on both. The disk takes a little bit longer to load. Same stuff. Screenshots. Screenshots. It's the same exact same copy, which is really good. Now, the file of this one specifically, or the file size of this ISO for this specific disk is 3.99 gig. What's on your actual you know, disk will depend, you know, will change the actual file size, but that's how big this one is. And so we have literally two copies here of basically the same disk, just one's a virtual copy and virtually mounted to a virtual DVD drive. And the other one's the physical one that I just popped into my computer. 
So this has been my tutorial on how to create ISO files from disks. This should work for pretty much anything. Uh, CDs and DVDs and movie DVDs or uh, this is a very like very not so great way of backing up DVDs as while it creates an exact copy it takes up a lot more space than just ripping the video file itself but still something to consider some people like having raw backups of everything and I'm going to be using this for specific demo discs and game discs that are at risk of getting torn up that might be harder to find so if this tutorial was helpful for you smash the like button get subscribed for more awesome tech videos come check out our Patreon page where you can contribute to this growing channel experience here for a small monthly contribution, get early access to videos and some other cool special features. We're working on revamping that quite a bit. And otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.